Hi guys, my name is Emma and we haven't discussed the Bitcoin situation for a long time and I guess this is this very moment when we need to understand what's happening now on the market. Many people have their own opinion, you might have it and also me and I want to tell you what I think about all this situation so like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to the buy bit and analyze everything in details. And I have prepared for you the very amazing surprise because I'm searching for 20 people who are ready to trade with me online in live format you will be able to repeat up to me to copy my strategy without waiting for another video to be out in live format online you and i are gonna make a very good profits i will leave the link under this video you need to get to my personal telegram messages and send me the code word group and act very fast with it because other guys are already rushing into this group and we're going to trade together already this evening well, my last prognosis turned out to be incorrect. We had defined the level, price went beyond it and then approached the new highs. As you can see, during the fourth week in a row, it's been trading in this zone. Yesterday, on the positive news about the SEC and Ripple, the market rushed up and reached the new ATH. For example, Bitcoin had almost reached the $32,000 mark, but after such a quick move, the market fell and returned to standard wheelies for Four weeks and the year 30 dollars for bitcoin and i thought that it would not return to this max soon but the market is unpredictable as always however it didn't move much further and you can see the price is still in the area of 20 dollars and it's been trading in this range and there's a fairly large channel here it is it touches the twenty seven thousand dollars mark a couple of days a week, Bitcoin reacts very actively to various news and events. And if we switch to the daily chart, we will see the price quickly trends up and then returns to its original position, as it happened here, for example, here and here. But now we don't have enough volumes on the market for the price to go beyond these boundaries. Pay attention to how much Bollinger Bands are narrowing. And if we look at the earlier chart, we will see the same narrowing that took place in March 2023. Different factors influence what's happening on the market right now. For example, news about the SEC and about Binance, macroeconomic data, and so on. But I still believe that the second half of 2023 will be about the market drop and we can face the stronger fear. We will be able to see the real bottom and drop to $15,000, $17,000 per Bitcoin or even lower. And many factors show that we haven't seen a real bottom yet. And then the fear and risks may be so high that people will stop believing in Bitcoin, will avoid buying it. But at this time, it would be a high time to enter the market. Now we may be distracted by supposedly positive news, but these events haven't yet happened. And this process may take several months, and I suppose that there is nothing positive in the market right now. Even after the news about Ripple, only one green candlestick had appeared that collapsed the next day after that, and we got a red candlestick. Bitcoin cannot gain a foothold in any of the positions, it cannot go up higher than $31,000 and then aim for $30,000. $32,000, it cannot even fall to $29,000 and go lower than it. But also note that history repeats itself, and we have already observed similar events in these time periods, for example right here and right here. And if you discuss this point, the movement can approach the following channels that we've noted here above. This is the area of $34,000, $35,000, and there is of of course, an option that the price will go to these marks and reach them, but there is also a possibility that the price will just drop, simply drop. We drew this line due to the daily highs and it was quickly broken through, but there is a possibility that there will be a return to it and the price is gonna test it again. So let's look further, pay attention to the border that we have drawn, that is about $29,300, the lower border of the channel where Bitcoin has been trading for several weeks now. 
now. The 50 EMA is moving towards it and this is the support zone. Nearby we have the lower Bollinger Band and this is also a support here. But we also know that we do not have significant volumes in terms of indicators. Yes, volumes have a reason on the news about Ripple. But look what's been going on these weeks. But even the increase in volumes due to this news didn't bring us what we had seen earlier. It is too early to talk about the recovery of the bullish trend. But the question is different. What can be done now? Can we go into a long or short position? And Yes, to be honest, I think it's better not to do anything. Oh, because it's been moving in one zone, it is actually an accumulation zone in the area of $30,000 and they decided to explore just other assets. For example, I entered into the Ethereum trade because this position was more promising and as you can see, I met my expectations about 140% when moving up. And now there are no good reasons to confidently enter a short or long position. The price is now in the middle of this channel and there are two options, either to move up or move down. And it's better to work here from level to level. For example, it reaches the upper band, we study what's gonna happen next, possibly go to short, then price drops to the lower band, from here we go long and the price goes back to the top. Because now the market is in accumulation. The price movement of $1,000 can happen in any moment and it is better to prepare pending orders to confidently enter uh, the market in the future. So guys, don't forget about your risk management because you know now it's a very dangerous moment to act without thinking, to act without relying on your strategy. The market will always give you the opportunity to earn money. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you now understand the Bitcoin situation better and if you have any questions left, you can leave them in the comments under this video. I wish you all the best, wish you calm mind, rely on your strategy and see you in the next video.